Some breaking news for the Seattle Mariners this afternoon as the Mariners are acquiring right-handed reliever Gregory Santos in a trade with the Chicago White Sox in exchange for right-hander Prelander Baroa, outfielder Zach Deloach, and the 69th pick in the 2024 draft, which is their Comp B pick. And Jeff quickly followed up his initial tweet by stating that he thinks it's a nice trade if you ask him. So let's take a look. Gregory Santos is a hard-throwing right-handed relief pitcher who, yes, can get up to 103, who in 2023 with the White Sox pitched in 66 and a third innings over 60 appearances with a 1.296 whip, a 3.39 ERA, a 9 strikeouts per 9, and a 2.3 walks per 9. He also logged 6 saves and 5 holds for the White Sox. He has a 4-pitch mix but mainly through his slider and sinker in 2023. He also has a 4-seam fastball and a changeup. His fastball averages 99 miles an hour, his slider averages 91 miles an hour, that changeup around 93. And as you can see from his baseball savant page, Gregory Santos is pretty good. He's red in all of the right categories, and as you can see from his breaking run value being in the 98th percentile, it seems that slider is pretty good. He's high up in categories for expected ERA, fastball velocity, chase percentage, whiff percentage, walk percentage, barrel percentage, hard hit percentage, and ground ball percentage. His 1.5% barrel rate in 2023 was in the 100th percentile via baseball savant. Only himself and Tyler Rogers were this good at avoiding barrels. The command that he's already shown in that walk percentage is key, as the Mariners preach dominating the zone, and Prelander Baroa, who they sent back to the White Sox, hasn't had the best command up to this point, and the Mariners didn't want to rely on that changing for this year. Gregory Santos is also under team control for the foreseeable future. Heading into a second year of pre-arbitration, he'll be under team control through the 2028 season, and will be paid the league minimum for this year and next year. Santos will be a great addition to the Mariners' bullpen, specifically the back end of the bullpen, adding on to the already strong Andres Munoz, Matt Rash, and Gabe Spire. With Justin Topa being sent to Minnesota last week in that Jorge Polanco trade, there was need for additional bullpen depth, and instead of relying on Prelander Baroa to take that next step, they'll slot in Gregory Santos. And here's a statement from Jerry Depoto following the trade. He states, Gregory is coming off of a season in which he established himself as one of the most exciting young relievers in MLB. His combination of high velocity, dynamic slider, and ground ball inducing style are all standout traits. He brings the potential for impact to a bullpen group that has been a driving force in our team's success over the past three seasons. Now getting into the return for the White Sox, one is again right-handed relief pitcher Prelander Baroa. Prelander is currently ranked as the Mariners' number 15 overall prospect. He came up largely as a starting pitcher up until last year, converted to the bullpen, and made his debut in Seattle last year pitching in two games just one and two-thirds innings. As I mentioned, he has struggled with his command up to this point in 43 games last year in AA, 65 and a third innings pitched. He had a fantastic 13.9 strikeouts per nine, but he is walking around five guys per nine innings. Prelander's upside for you White Sox fans is undoubtedly as your closer, but it will all come down to his development and his ability to be able to command the ball. As for the 25-year-old outfield prospect Zach Deloach, he was originally drafted in the second round of the 2020 MLB Draft out of Texas A&M. As of right now, he's Seattle's 25th overall prospect, and with where the Mariners roster is currently at, there just wasn't room for an opportunity. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he does in Chicago because he does have a lot of upside. In 138 games in AAA in 2023, Deloach batted 286 with a 387 on base percentage, an 868 OPS, with 23 home runs, 88 RBIs, and 8 stolen bases. On top of those two players, the White Sox, as mentioned, are also getting the Seattle Mariners 69th overall pick in the 2024 MLB Draft. Mariners giving up a decent amount for Gregory Santos, but Santos seems worthy of the price. Mariners fans, White Sox fans, baseball fans, let me know your thoughts on this trade, and we'll see if this was the final move of the Mariners offseason. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you next time.